football and just one of the truly great names. Absolutely brilliant defender as well, but Milan over the years have had plenty of those top defenders, haven't they? But what, what was brilliant was when they came out to warm up, what a round of applause they got off the Liverpool supporters and the Italian supporters in the corner there. It's a great evasion to say, look, thank you for coming and we respect you and we are going to enjoy this 80 minutes in front of us. These boys absolutely love these days. It rolls back the years for them and it takes them back to all the feelings that they had in their playing days. Peter Banks is going to be on the Premier League list next year. He's a really well-respected referee who hails from Merseyside. And he's at Anfield today taking charge of, of this game and about to get us underway. Another encounter for the Liverpool legends, another great day at Anfield. And Milan Glory are the visitors. And it's Liverpool who will get us underway. And immediately, Sto Sto well, stroking the ball around, and Steven Gerrard's actually giving it away to Inzaghi very, very early on. There's plenty of talent in that side, as you see, Gattuso. And, I mean, even if you didn't know that was Pirlo, you could still recognise him from that gait and the way that he runs. He looks so cool, doesn't he? He looks like one of those Italian suit models, doesn't he? Very cool. But what a player. Knock it about, everybody get a touch. Get your passing range. Daniel Lager wasn't going to pull a groin there, was he? Or a hamstring <laughs> stretching for Sammy Hoopier's pass there. No, you don't want to be doing that in the first five minutes. Kennedy back towards Agger. His touch was a, a little bit heavy. And he did catch Pippo Inzaghi a little. Yeah, I think uh, Inzaghi pulled out of that one and has got a touch of uh, the studs on the top of his foot. And there's Gattuso <laughs> making a challenge. Reno Gattuso, of course, who, who, like you, played for Rangers and yeah. actually was, was dumped. Suited to the Scottish game as well, in my opinion, but Dick, for some uh, reason, wanted to bring the Dutch players in. Oh, that's a, a little slip, and Liverpool have foul up, and the ball is in behind. An opportunity for Lewis Garcia, the recovery tackle was a pretty decent one by Kaka Kaladze, the mayor of Tbilisi these days. That's towards the count, the layoff, and was looking for foul up. Perhaps as the Lewis Garcia was offside, the first shot of the day is deflected and through for the great Dida, wonderful goalkeeper. And history could be very different. Absolutely. That's, that's those little measures in football which uh, count. You know, you look in the Champions League, you need that little bit of luck to get through. Liverpool took full advantage of that. Costa Kerta back to Dida, back to Alessandro Costa Kerta. Heavy touch by Calante, and here's Steven Gerrard. We have three teammates around the ball, but he didn't find any of them. Cavane and Luis Garcia and Robbie Fowler were all waiting. It was Ambrosini who just caught Cavane, but the play will go on. Liverpool have the ball, and Dirk Count has it. And Robbie Fowler can't quite get it. Kaladze's touch was momentarily worrying for him. That's uh, a couple of those for him so far. We will continue to give him his full title. Kaka Kaladze, the mayor of Tbilisi. <laughs> I love He's that. a politician these days now. Here's Cafu, first time we've seen him bombing forward. And the cross, the stand it up. And the... Well, that would have been a collector's item, wouldn't it? But Inzaghi's got it in his locker. He's just couldn't quite get the leg up and over. He used to have it in his locker, I'm not so sure now. But most players would have headed this. He pulls away at the back, so... Stig, instead of heading it or knocking it back for the runner, he's gone for the spectacular overhead kick. Unfortunately, got it. Absolutely, he's done tremendous as a as a coach now, and looked like he was going to get the sack earlier in the season, but they've stuck with him. I imagine there will be quite a few of his current players watching him today because they'll give him a bit of sticking training this week. Absolutely, he looks a little bit more rounded than we'd expect <laughs> for someone who's training every day. Steven Gerrard still looks, you know, slimline and. Uh, that's Gerrard. Liverpool on the prowl here. And he's looking for Robbie Fowler as it was played forward by. Should have just played it easy to Tuso to his right hand side. And there's four of them out of the game. Well, that's a good challenge. Serginho had stayed deep. Lewis Garcia. Robbie Fowler was a little dummy and it nearly comes to Glenn Johnson. The flag probably would have gone up against Glenn Johnson had it rolled through. Oh, 
Well, it's a foul against Daniel Agat. On Gattuso. Yeah, a bit tight in there. Of course, they've got a few who could take them, but Pirlo taking responsibility. And it will be comfortable to go out. It will be a corner. Jersey Dudek was trying to get that. Yeah, leave those ones, Jersey. They're going out for a <laughs> corner, mate. Save your energy. Serginho will take. And Zaghi comes near post, Carragher with the header. Sammy Hoopy is underneath it. Doesn't get it too far away, but for the second time of asking, we'll find Gerrard. And his dirt count. And all of a sudden, Liverpool are getting plenty of players forward. It's Gerrard taking it in his stride. He's found dirt count. And Luis Garcia is arriving. Well, had it gone in, it would have been a breakaway goal that would have been very Liverpool of the Jurgen Klopp era as it was it it's just a fraction wide what a goal this would have been little nutmegs there from Steven Gerrard as well all to the back post and Luis Garcia I expected him to score there he just turns his head at the last minute I think beautiful ball this is Serginho and Zaghi goes now up here with the header and Milan will have their second corner yeah, it's a good ball in, unexpected ball in, to be fair, there's only Yinzaghi in the box, Sammy Hupia. It wasn't the worst effort coming across the near post. No, it worked it well. Ultimate in penalty box predators, you know what? Count for Gerrard. It's Ambrosini that's very, very tight. And wins the ball as well. And there's Inzaghi, Kaka, Rui Costa. Dirk Kaut went down, I'm not too happy, but play goes on and Kaka only found the legs of Kwame. Scored a penalty as well on his final appearance for the club. I think he'd gone 15 years without a goal as well. <laughs> it's a great way to finish then, the goal on your final appearance. What was Serginho, he, 41, oldest scorer in Serie A. A little bit of space and the shot, oh. Wasn't far away. Nothing at all Rui Costa's done so far. He's gone right for him and then he produces that out of nowhere. Yeah, very little back lift on that from Rui Costa. This opens up for him. Goes for the top corner, just can't keep it down. Um, I think Jersey was struggling a little bit if that's going to hit the target. He's looking for Rui Costa again, but a really good challenge by Kwame. And here comes Gerard finding space. And here comes Big Sammy, striding out of defence. And then heading forward into the penalty area as well. Johnson, oh, the space for Fowler! <laughs> Lovely finish! He can still do it, don't you worry. You put the ball on Robbie Fowler's foot in front of goal, and he will respond. Brilliant finish from Robbie, good movement as well. They all set off by Sammy coming out of the defence, playing it wide, and Glenn Johnson gets time and space to pick someone out. And it's good movement for Robbie in between the two centre backs and just helps it on his way with the outside of his left foot into the corner. Lovely ball from Glenn Johnson. Daniel Agger will take the opportunity to stride out of defence. His pass just put Dirk Kaut into a bit of trouble, but here's Gerard. And now Johnson. There's plenty waiting around the back, he's Daniel Agger. And he nearly got in behind Cafu there. Wasn't far away. No, he wasn't far away. Continue his run, it was Glenn Johnson again. Just uh, dinking that ball into the back stick. Daniel Agger around the back. Not sure if he took his eye off the ball a little bit, because Cafu's coming across. Here's Dirk Cow. I think when you did speak to a few of the Liverpool legends boys, when they saw the Milan team and the score they were bringing, it's been all Liverpool so far, and Luis Garcia is in here. Good save by Dida. He then remembered that he couldn't pick it up and clears away. Yeah, good save, stood up well. Again, it's a lovely ball from right to left from Dirk Cow. That's Gerard. Dirk Cow again. He's been a real thorn in Milan's side so far in the header. It's by Lewis Garcia. He's just off target. Well, this was a decent stop by Dida, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a good stop. This is uh, sorting his laces out now. 
But this is brilliant from right to left. And Steven Gerrard into Luis Garcia. The shot on his... He got his angles really well. They stood up well, Dida. And then it's knocked back to him from Costa Curta and he deals with it. But good play from Luis Garcia. Good shot. Strong hands. Yeah, well, West Ham, he only played a couple of games. Here's Luis Garcia. Johnson's going around the corner. And now Dirk Cow held up by Ambrosini. Serginho with the challenge. Pirlo wanted a little too much time. And here's Gerard. And tried to thread it for Robbie Fowler on his left foot. Rui Costa. Cafu, flag stays down, Inzaghi's in the middle. And the flag's up against him, the cover was really, really good anyway. Yeah, Inzaghi was stood in there, he's offside, but Jamie Carragher wasn't taking any chances there. Came across, got his toe in, it's definitely offside. Here's Dirk Kout at the other end. And will shoot. Couldn't keep it down. Yeah, you can see what he was trying to do though, Dirk Kout coming on that right foot, good movement. Coming inside, trying to bend it for that far corner, leans back on it, gets underneath it a little bit. That's Ambrosini. Rui Costa, Kaká and Inzaghi wait in the middle, Serginho joining as well. Rui Costa still got it, he's already sent one shot over the top. Here's Cafu, on well, that set up for Kaká, lovely, that's a really good save. That is a smart stop by Jerzy Dudek. Excellent save from Dudek down to his left-hand side. Hadn't had anything to do in this game. Kaka given enough time to take the touch and then try and place it in the corner. And he reacts really well, Jerzy Dudek there, down to his left-hand side. Good save. Rui Costa. Gattuso. Gerard tussling with him. I always remember what happened when they were running the other way, of course, in 05. Gattuso and Gerard into that penalty area. It's Gattuso switch for Serginho. It's a lovely ball. Serginho's little flick. And Brosini will go up. Liverpool will clear. Well, the attempt once again from Inzaghi, again rising to it, but again not quite able to hit the target. Yeah, it's a difficult one because it's very straight, trying to help it on its way towards Dudek. Jersey doing great with the supporters down there watching the game, getting involved. Great to see. And there's Rui Costa again over, again trying to make something happen. Well, it's going to be a corner before half-time, won by Kaka. At the end of the time, added on. But well, they've only got three in the box. Yes, they're not loading the penalty area up here. And Milan. And it was looking for Ambrosini, and that will do the end of the first half, in which Liverpool have dominated from the first whistle, really. And they got themselves a high-class goal as well. And Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. And good value for that as well in this LFC Foundation game. And a challenge match with the legends of Milan, Milan Glory. Players signing two players from one country, so they had company. That's a, a decent ball that's played forward. Cross is very, very deep. Looking for Cafu. The volley in the end is, is way over the top. Great technique, though, coming onto that, Cafu. Pirlo, a little scoop for Cafu, and he does have support here, if he can find a white shirt, it was Daniel Agger who got in the way, there was the follow-up was by Kaka. There wasn't enough support for him, was there? He got into a really good position, Cafu, and he's waiting for the support here, where's the runners, where are the runners? Tony Inzaghi there, and Daniel Agger did really well, stepped in. These are all names that you, you remember so well, aren't they, from, from Italian football? That's a, a ball looking for Cafu. Jamie Carrigan making sure there was no way through. And Cafu, I think, was just politely inquiring as to 
the legality of Jamie Carragher's challenge. Peter Bank, so fair enough. Berger. That sweet left foot. That sweet left foot. It comes to Johnson. And couldn't find a way past the challenge, but the referee says foul. I think he's going to give it right on the edge of the penalty area. Massimo Ambrosini is none too impressed. Well, he goes down, he's outside the box, that's for sure. Well, certain Gibral Cisse has only a very small part in this as he stands just off the ball. It is Gerard, and it is into the wall, and the cops left disappointed. Just like Pierlo's a little earlier, he just wasn't yeah. caught with any real decisiveness by Stephen Gerrard. Yeah, a little bit uh, timid on it. I don't think Stephen wanted to really strike right through the ball. Has Jason Mackin had a uh, kick yet? One, I think. One. Berger. Forward for Cissé, who's in, and onside, and scores! Back at Anfield, back at the top end, and Gibral Cissé scores for Liverpool, and makes it look very, very easy. Cool finish. Quick feet as well, Gibral Cissé. A little ball from Patrick Berger. He's definitely onside, Abiati comes out, stands up, but sees a quick feet, just passes it through him, basically. This is Berger's pass, Cissé through the middle. Stephen Gerrard does look exactly the same, doesn't he? He's having as much influence on the game as well. That's always, that's always, uh, I mean, at, at the end, it's, uh, it's about that, uh, we know all uh, Stevie, and it's so that maybe the game goes a bit slower, but at the end, the quality is there, and well, you can see on the touches and the involvement of, the, of, the, of the Stevie on the game, so it's been fantastic just to watch him play for, for a while. Lovely moment as well for uh, for Dibril Sisse. Here's Glenn Johnson for Liverpool. On towards Owen. Very politically correct of Pete not to mention that chance in the first half. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done an interview. Gerard! Abiati watched it all the way. And Steven Gerard caught it well but couldn't quite keep it down. The crowd have been wanting him to do this all afternoon when it comes to Stephen. They're saying shoot, this time he does shoot. Just uh, rising over the crossbar of Abiati. Just watches it go. Jason won't thank us for saying he's one of the elder members of the Liverpool squad these days. <laughs> but he certainly has worked very hard on his fitness. Here's Kaka. Oh, that's a hack by Daniel Lager. That's. Uh, that's a stonewall yellow card on any other day in a competitive game. Absolutely. I got, I got there as quickly as I could, ref. Kek has done him there. It's away. Bad challenge from Daniel Agger. So Gino's over it as well. But it has to be Pirlo. It is Pirlo, and it is absolutely brilliant. Oh, it is exactly what Andrea Pirlo is all around. Absolutely wonderful moment. Appreciated by the Anfield crowd, special, special footballer. Absolutely, special footballer, special talent. He just steps up there and Sander just stands still. He knows he's beaten up and over the wall with pace into the corner. Great technique, so, so flat over the top of the wall, brings it down. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. And that's probably justice for the challenge on Kaka. Tight in there, oh, Gerard has been absolutely rifle through <laughs> Alessandro Costa Curta says I got there when I could yeah, done for skill here, a little give and go Costa Curta just comes straight through Stephen did well to ride that actually Gerard. Costa Curta is the defender Gerard with a double dummy super start by Abby Arti Cissé oh, that's a wild one <laughs> that is a wild one I don't think Steven Gerrard's too happy, he's in the back post, one in the cross, brilliant run. Step over, double step over, gets his shot in, good save from Abiati. And Cissé. Still very sprightly in the middle of that midfielder. Speaking of sprightly, here's Patrick Berger, he might have a goal. Oh, what a left foot. Brilliant left foot. Hadn't had his shooting boots on so far today. He's got brilliant left foot. Up for him, and I'll take the responsibility of the shot. And Liverpool can advance, and they have four against three here. 
It's Cissé, and here's Gerrard, and the ball in. Oh dear. Well, it was teed up on a plate for John Aldridge, and Vladimir Smeets had got across him. And cost John Aldridge his big moment here. Yeah, they got each other's way. Cissé, a lovely pick out of the back stick for Steven Gerrard, looking for the run. It's a lovely little cushion header. Who's going to put it in? That's for Ambrosini, and they're in here. And that's a big challenge by Carragher. Rui Costa, Pancaro, decent effort, super goal! And Milan level things up, and look at what it means to them. They've really got at Liverpool in this second half, and they've got themselves a, a couple of really classy goals. It's a, a really, really good finish by Giuseppe Pancaro. Brilliant finish, knew what he wanted to do, bend it in Vestavout's left hand post. Obviously, good build up as well between Rui Costa and Kaka. And it comes out from Rui Costa, back out to Picaro. Picaro picks his spot. Beautiful finish for 2 2. Having got a really good reception. Oh, that's a mistake by Pirlo. Don't see many of those. The Cissé, oh, the Pirlo for handball. They're screaming for a penalty. They're not going to get it, though. <laughs> Rui Costa. And Aga can't stay with him. His legs are fading on him now as Pancaro keeps going strong. And here's the man in the middle waiting for it. It was Kaka and it just eludes him. Yeah, some tired legs out there. Those who have played the full time. Is it Milan's turn to score three second half goals? Let's hope not. Here's Gerard. On towards Gibral Cissé, Gerard again, lovely turn, and Steven Gerard again, and there's the shot! Steven Gerard wraps it up for Liverpool in the last minute of the game at the cop end. They come to see Steven Gerard, and he always responds. It's a beautiful Gerard goal. It's a brilliant goal because really he should have taken it on his left foot. But decides to cut it back on his right foot and then drills it across the goalkeeper. Brilliant play. Here you think he's going to curl it on his left foot. Go on then. No, he cuts it back onto his right foot. Sends all the defenders the wrong way and then he hits it back across the goalkeeper. Abiati in off the inside of the post. At the cop end. You couldn't write the script, could you? So Steven Gerrard once again. No matter what the age, special players can provide special moments. Well, that's tidy. And again, trying to find the way forward with Rui Costa. And Cafu is held up by Vladimir Smitzer. The free kick will go to Liverpool. <laughs> One of the great characters. <laughs> One of the great players. Cafu entertaining the crowd. These players love these games. The fans here appreciate these players as well. And the fans at Anfield are going to get the result they want. And Liverpool do win the LFC Foundation Challenge. Kenny Dalglish and Ian Rush are winners. And they're winners thanks to... Who else? The Liverpool captain. Steven Gerrard is very much the match winner.